should put some candy out that you put in your house. I'll stop by. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, uh, how, uh, you know, the week of practice, pretty much in a week of uh, practice, how have things gone uh, so far? Great. Um, it's, it's a little bit daunting right now because there's so much to do and so much to get in and um, you know we have so far to go but we really like what we've seen the last week um, and we're excited to you know play somebody else this weekend and, and you know, showcase what, what, what we have going on. So OIT comes in and for a lot of the new players uh, for this team how important is it to kind of play that first uh, ex exhibition? It's huge you know as a coaching staff we always evaluate what, how we do over the season, and, and we felt like last year we, we didn't prepare our team enough by getting those quality um, exhibition games in. It, it resulted in a pretty ner nervous first game and, and whatnot, but I feel like these exhibition games are huge to you know, put the jersey on, be in the front of the lights, um, have real officials, and play somebody else and, and not beat up on each other. So it's um, you know, huge for us to have three exhibition games this, this season. Probably tough to say after just a, a week of practice, but do you feel like the, the, the players new and returning that you know things are kind of coming together? Or is it still like are they at the kind of where the point you'd like to see them be right now? Yeah, they're at, at the point where we um, think they should be. It, it is you know it's going to be a, a year where we're, we're going to be a lot better you know toward the end when when we meshed and, and come together and know the system, but um, you know we're throwing new things at them every day, and so it's it's pretty tough. Um, for them to, to pick up and, and especially for the younger kids who have played at this level as well as, as you know, trying to understand the new things. And so, um, but I think they're doing great. We're, we're coming along. You know, for, for the recruits that you brought in and then for the returners coming back, I mean, I know for everybody, you know, when you don't make the postseason, the season ends early, obviously difficult going into the off season. But do you feel like for the returners coming back, everybody is even more committed now after not going to the playoffs? Yeah, we our returning group was uh, you know very disappointed in our season. You know we our our record didn't reflect the type of team that we had. We, you know we were in every game and, and it was most playing games. You know were down decided by one or two baskets and and um, yet we couldn't buy wins and so uh, it was very frustrating for the team for us and, and I know that you know they're they're motivated and, and our returners doing a great job of of being leaders and, and um, having high expectations and practice and um, you know that's always a good thing. And first exhibition on Saturday, what can fans though expect to see uh, when they come out here to Lumberjack Arena? Well there's a, a combination of, of a lot of new faces and, and you know some, some veterans that have been here for a while. Um, we have eight, eight returners and, and um, well, one is a red shirt so I guess only seven returners and, and then um, which would result in 10 new players, and so that's a lot, you know, a lot of new faces, a few are red shirts, um, a few are freshmen, and then a few are, are impact transfers that, that are going to be asked to, to perform right away, and so um, I think that, you know, there's a nice balance of, of a core group that's still here that, um, you know, knows what we expect and, and knows how to play in this conference, and then, you know, a whole slew of new ones. Um, I was looking at the notes. I, I think I saw some notes. Lisa Petty, yeah. an assistant. <laughs> so how how great is that to be bringing her back? I mean, I'm sure you wish you'd like to see her play on the court, <laughs> but have her back on the coaching staff. How, how big was that for you guys? Oh, it, it's huge. We um, you know we we approached her after the season last year, and, and she wasn't sure if that's something that she wanted to do. She kind of pursued. Um, you know, she's a business major and, and looked into getting getting jobs in that field. And then this summer, she ended up, you know, contacting us again and, and asked if the, it was still open. And of course, you know, we accepted her with open arms. She's, um, as we all know, a great player and, and, and whatnot, but she's a really good coach. And, you know, it's a hard role that first year after you play when you know some of the players and you're their age. But um, she is a very uh, intelligent player and, and um, you know, has done a great job for us so far. We're really excited with with about having her in our staff and, and you know having that alumni connection who's been through it and can relate to the players a little bit more. Right. Uh, tell the coach, tell me about your uh, two freshmen on your roster, uh, Ashlyn Cox and uh, Sam you know, Merritson, and what they bring to the program. 
Um, and there's another one too, Kendall Marie. Uh, and and so we have we have three freshmen. Um, first off, Sam is is a transfer. She went to Diablo Valley College, so we're still um, working out whether she's an actual freshman or sophomore. So she has a little bit of college experience, but um, didn't play up, play down there. She. Uh, Actually, he's battled some injuries, and so we, we haven't seen her a ton on the court, but um, is back now and, and playing full force and, and provides some depth for us at the, at the guard spot. Um, Ashlyn Cox is a local kid. She's from Arcata High. Is, is one of the hardest workers. She, you know, basketball season ended in March for them, and she's over here lifting weights and, and working out and, and um, has, really, has really proven to us, you know, a lot with, with her work ethic and, um, and then right now is trying to you know figure out how to play at this speed and, and at this level and is doing great. I think that she's going to um, really provide some depth for us in the future. And then Kendall Murray, you know, same similar in in that um, it's just it's just tough for freshmen to, to come in and, and be expected to um, contribute and, and um, you know figure out how to play at this this with the strength and the speed that is necessary to play at this level. But Kendall's doing a great job too. She was a, a guard from Idaho and um, we were fortunate to get out here. She's a, a, a oceanography major, a marine biology major, and so she, you know, it's a good place. They don't have that in Idaho, so this is a good place uh, for her to do that. And but she's doing a great job too. They're, they're all working really hard and, and doing everything we could ask of them. Her second major was going to be potatoes or? <laughs> <laughs>